launch angle and exit velocity, it's a serious shot as well. So 42 degrees is a good launch angle. Um, but anything one, to one or two degrees off, even with good contact, um, will equal loss of distance. Um, so that's why now we've got, I put up targets. Um, as again, I think Zubin does, I put targets up at 42 degrees and they're looking to hit those, just gives them a target as well. Exit velocity needs to be part of your training program. So I have exit velocity weeks at the academy I work at or exit velocity days where we just work at, um, at, at trying to increase our fall exit speed. Exit speed required for given distance, you know, over here in the UK, nine professional uh, first class cricket, 90 yards is the maximum the boundary could be, 82 metres. To clear that, it's got to leave you about 83 miles an hour. Obviously, it depends on atmospheric conditions and launch angle and stuff like that, um, which we've spoken about. Um, but in T20 cricket, they bring the boundaries in. So that's why they want to see fours and sixes. But see, everybody wants to hit the ball 100 miles an hour. That's what I've, with my radar, that's the big thing everybody wants to clear that. If they can hit the ball 100 miles an hour, then they are, they're very, very pleased.